Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Cottrell and you are watching a quick tip screencast on web design tuts. Today we are going to learn a small bit about using the command line to speed up your workflow. In this session we will learn simple methods in traversing the file system as well as how to create, delete, move, and copy files and folders. By default when you open terminal you are in the current logged in users home directory. In Finder this is what this looks like. You also see the username to the right and then a dollar sign which says that that's where the command prompt begins. So you can see here on the right that I have folders and a file. How do I see these in terminal? This is the first command and probably the most used command you'll learn. Type ls and then press enter and you'll see a list of files and directories in the current working directory. If you type ls and pass in the option al you can see hidden files and directories in a list format. Hidden files have a period at the beginning of their names and are hidden in the finder window. So you can see all the hidden files here that don't show up in my finder window. Great. Now let's clear out the terminal window so we can see a little better. So this is how you can find out what's in a certain directory. Now how do you move through directories? Another simple command, cd, which stands for change directory. You'll type cd and then the name of the directory, so in this case we're going to change into my Dropbox directory. Now you can see that the tilde has updated to reflect the new current working directory, which is Dropbox. Of course this is the same as double clicking a folder in Finder. To change to the parent directory, we can use the shortcut dot dot. This always represents the parent folder of the current working directory. A single dot refers to the current working directory, which will be useful towards the end of the screencast. Now remember how we said that the tilde represents the home folder? If you type cd followed by a tilde, you can change back to the home folder from anywhere. You can also change to folders relative to the home folder. For instance, let's say I'm deep in another directory. To get back to my Dropbox folder, I type cd tilde front slash Dropbox. But for now I want to just show you how to jump to the parent directory. Change directory dot dot and once again we have changed back into my home directory. Okay so great we now know how to move through and look at directories in terminal. Now let's say we want to make or delete directories and folders. The way we do this is with two methods. One is make directory and the next is touch. Make directory makes a directory wherever you specify, while touch creates an empty file wherever you specify. So to make a folder called project in the current working directory, you'd simply type mkdir project. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to jump into my Dropbox folder. It is case sensitive. And I'm going to mkdir project. Now I can change directory into that project folder. And again, if you ls, it's going to be an empty directory that you've created with the make directory command. Now let's go ahead and make two more directories inside of it. You can pass more than one argument to make directory in touch, and it will loop through the arguments and make a directory or file with each of the names. So we're going to make directory style scripts. Now if you ls, you see that scripts and style are both in there. You can change directory into either one of these and again they are uh, empty directories. So we'll go back to our project directory ls, there they are, scripts and style. Now you want to create uh, some style uh, files, empty style.css and reset.css. So I'm going to change directory into my style folder and I'm going to touch style.css and reset.css. If you ls, there they are. Let's say you want to make directories to a specific file path outside or relative to your current file path. So you want to create a file in the scripts folder while you're inside the style folder, for instance. You don't have to cd back out of the style folder and into scripts folder. You can simply type touch parent directory, which is the two dots, 
scripts, script.js. Now if you were to actually change directories and go into that scripts folder, you can ls and see that there it is, script.js. Okay, so we've got empty files, empty folders. What if we want to delete or remove those files and directories? To do so, you'll use the rm command. If we're in our project folder and we want to remove the index.html file, we type rm index.html. Of course, we don't have an index.html file, so let's just for the sake of it, index.html. Make sure it's there. There it is. And now we'll type rm index.html. Enter. ls one more time, and it's been removed. Now we want to remove the style folder. If we only type rm style, we'll get an error. It says that style is a directory. What Terminal is telling you is that the directory cannot be deleted without deleting each of the files inside of the directory. To get past this error, simply pass the flag dash r to rm, which means to recursively remove everything inside whatever argument path you passed. So rm dash r style. That completed successfully, and if we ls, we'll see that the only thing that's left is scripts because we removed our style. Next, we will learn how to copy a file to a new location. Let's say we want to copy the script.js file inside of our scripts folder into the project top-level directory, which is our current working directory. We'll use cp, which stands for copy, for this command. This command takes two arguments. First, the file to be copied, and second, the place to copy it to. So we type the following, cp scripts front slash script.js and now we'll use the shortcut to the current working directory, which is a single dot, slash script.js. Now if we ls, we see that script.js has successfully been copied from within the scripts folder into our current working directory. So what is the dot forward slash? Well, again, it is a reference to the current working directory. Essentially, you are telling the cp command to copy the script.js file to the current working directory. But let's say you wanted to rename the file. That's as simple as passing in a new name, like so. So let's remove the script.js file, and we want to cp scripts script.js to the current working directory, but we want to name it new script.js. If we ls, we see that new script.js has been copied um, with that new file name. Now, to copy a directory, you will also need the dash r flag, as you are also copying all files and folders in the directory to the new location, in a similar fashion to the rm command. The last command I want to teach you is how to move a file from one place to another. The basic usage of this command is the same as the cp command, except that you don't need the dash r flag to move folders. So let's move our new script.js into the scripts folder. We'll type mv, which is the move command, new script.js, scripts, new script.js. Now if we ls, we see that uh, there is not a new script.js file any longer in our project folder, but we can change directories into the scripts folder and ls, and we see that new script has been moved into our scripts folder. Now let's move our scripts folder into a new folder that we'll call assets. So we'll change directory back into our project folder, make a new directory called assets, and we will move scripts into assets. Now if you ls, we have the assets folder, change directory into assets, ls, and there's scripts. You now know how to move through your file system and terminal, survey what is in the file system, make new empty directories and files, move and copy files and directories, and delete files and directories. In the next tutorial, we'll learn a few more commands and how to use these commands to speed up your workflow. Even these few commands will help you set up a project structure very quickly. Until next time, keep checking at Web Design Touch for more tutorials, and check out the rest of the Touch Plus network. I look forward to reading and responding to your comments.